<laughs> Hi guys, it's Miss Tracy. It's Sunday, May 7th, and this is your children's church lesson for today. I know we've only got a couple weeks and we will be back in class together and I can't wait. So let's get started. I got something, a great lesson for you guys today. I think you're going to really enjoy it. Um, I had a wonderful time preparing for the lesson and I get blessed just as much as you guys do as well. And so we're going to get started. Let's go ahead and pray, okay? To your Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you so much, Lord Jesus, for this day that you've given us, Father. We are blessed, Lord, that you are always there for us, Father, that you've taken care of us. You've protected us and kept us, kept us safe and healthy, Lord Jesus. And we just ask that you continue to do that for us and our families. Father, you know the children's prayer requests. I might not know them, but you do. And I'm going to pray and agree with them right now in the name of Jesus that their prayers are answered, Father. Let this be of you, Lord Jesus. Speak through me that the children may learn something and take something from this lesson today, Father. In your precious and holy name, amen. And we'll go ahead and get started. So, the Apostle Paul writes in Hebrews 12.1, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. And we all as Christians have a race to run and our goal to the finish line is our prize, which is eternal life in heaven with Jesus Christ. Okay, and I have something to show you guys. So like I was saying, we all have a goal on our walk as a Christian and we want to reach the end of the race. And um, our goal, our prize is heaven eternal life in heaven that um as a christian we accept jesus as our savior and so throughout our walk as a christian until the day that we die or he returns um our goal is to get to heaven we don't want to go backwards to the sin the life that we were living we want to keep moving forward so i have an example let me put this camera down here i got something to show you guys in my bowl of water, I didn't get a big tub. I really wanted to get a big tub, but this was kind of easier here, even though um, it should be a lot deeper. But in the bottle, in the bottom of the water, it says finished race. Okay, so at the bottom of the water is going to be finished race. Okay, I have an orange here. Here's my orange. And on my orange, on the peel... I wrote sin because it does say um, in the scripture that I just read that um, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin, this says everything that hinders us from reaching the finish line and sin right here. These are the things that are keeping us from the finish line if we do these things. And hinder means to hold back, to delay or prevent action. So anything that's interfering with our progress to the finish line, that is what hindering means and sin. Those are the things that are keeping us from our goal, our prize, which is eternal life in heaven. So with the peel on, I'm going to put it in the water. And you guys can see it floats on top of the water. We're not to the bottom of it. We didn't reach the bottom to the finish line. So I am going to peel off, which I'm not going to, I'm, this is what I originally would do, was peel off from the orange, um, everything that was hindering, any sin that we may be doing that is keeping us from the finish line. I went ahead and just went ahead and peeled one right here. So I've got a peeled orange, and this is meaning that I have um, got off I'm not sinning. There, I am not letting anything hinder me from my walk my or my race to the end of the finish line. And you'll see that when I peel off those layers, 
it goes to the finish line. So that way, I think it's a neat way to show you guys. And like I said, I really wanted a big bucket. I did have one, but it was harder for me to show you guys uh, with the big bucket of water. So if it dropped all the way to the bottom, that finished our race to the end. And perseverance means persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay. Because our um, when we run our race, to the end it's not always so easy right there are obstacles in our way you will have obstacles you will face during the race like roadblocks sharp turns but keeping your eyes fixed on jesus and the prize will help you overcome those obstacles it says prob Progress rarely, rarely comes in a straight line. If you mess up, make a mistake, which we all have done. None of us are perfect. We make a mistake. You don't have to go all the way back to the beginning. Don't get discouraged. Don't give up. Ask for forgiveness and get right back on track to, to finish the race. Also, when running a race at school or with your friends, you don't run alone. You run with your uh, with friends with others so find other christians to help you reach the finish line together to be there to help each other to encourage one another and to cheer each other on you guys know that it'd be it's more than just being alone it's great to have someone else there um to help you like maybe if you're something that you're struggling with you can talk to someone that understands another christian friend that you can talk to and they can encourage you they can help you so that way you stay on course that you get to the finish line that you reach your destination your goal which is to be in heaven with jesus christ the apostle the apostle paul wrote the scripture in most of the new testament wasn't always a good person. At one time, he had Christians killed. One day on a road to D Damascus, the Lord Jesus met him, and he was never the same again. Many people Jesus used for this ministry, for his ministry, had faults and shortcomings. God doesn't use only perfect men and women. If we think God can use only perfect people, it will hinder us. There's our word. It will hinder us in our own race because not one of us is perfect. We're on our way to perfection, but we haven't arrived yet. Paul had obstacles he faced. He was persecuted. He was shipwrecked, beaten, stoned, and left for dead. But he didn't let those things stop him. And honestly, I hope to God you guys never face something being left for dead. But if Paul overcame all of those obstacles, we can overcome anything that comes our way. Because those are really bad. I mean, I've had a lot of bad things happen to me, but nothing like that. And so I know when I listen to um, the Bible stories and you hear of all the things that they went through and they made it to the end of their race, that gives me encouragement and courage that I can... I can uh, win my race, that I can get to the end also, just like they did. And they went through way worse things than I did. Okay. When Paul entered uh, the race, he kept running until he reached the finish line. He never turned back. He had his eyes on the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Build your foundation, this is important, on the Word of God. Stay in the Word of God always, building a personal relationship with God. Stay on track. Have you ever put something together that came with instructions? I have, okay? But you didn't use them. So a lot of times it's my husband. He thinks he can put everything together without looking at the instructions, right? I do. it. I've done it too, okay? You didn't have time to bother with them. You just wanted to hurry and put it together. And then after you did that, you had parts left over or that what you put together wasn't put together right. We often end up with spare parts, okay? That sometimes that happens. Well, God's word is our instruction book. It's our manual. And we must follow the directions or we will fall apart. Just like... Um, if we was putting something together without the instructions, that the Word of God is our instruction manual. It lets us know exactly how we need to live our life. And if we follow that, um, 
It will our help in our race that we're trying to get to the finish line. It will, it'll guide us. And if you have questions, just turn to the Word of God. And also Satan, it says he came to kill, steal, and destroy. And Satan will, um, he will be one of the obstacles, or he will be the obstacles that come in your way as you're trying to finish your race to the end. Um, he will, he will be there. And um, it's a stand firm in the Word. Step over him and keep going to the finish line. And don't look back. Don't look back, okay? Look ahead to your prize. It said, keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. Don't look back at your past. Maybe some of the things that we've done aren't um, the best, but we've asked for forgiveness for those, and we don't want to. We don't want to look back. We don't want to go back to the beginning. We're just, if we mess up, you're just gonna ask for forgiveness, okay? And you're gonna keep on going to the end, okay? And thank Him, praise Him that you've overcame them obstacles. And just like a test, um, God may put a test, a trial, that He's um, just like a teacher does. A teacher will give you a test to see how much you've learned. And maybe God will give you a test also to see um, how much you've learned also on your walk with Him. And it makes us stronger. Okay, you will come out stronger than you ever were before, and it just keeps you, um, I don't know, I just think it, it makes you so much stronger, courageous in your walk with Him, and I just pray, I pray so much, guys, that you guys will um, keep your eyes fixed on Jesus, the prize, heaven, imagine what heaven will be like, you don't want to go to the place that so many have talked about, um, that is not, is opposite of heaven, which is hell, and where Satan is and you guys that is not fun at all so anytime you may be tempted or have one of these obstacles in your way just keep focusing on the prize maybe you have loved ones that have went on and passed and are with Jesus now you can always think about them and that you can't wait to be with them in heaven one day um, just keep your eyes, keep your heart focused on um, the prize, which is going to be you seeing Jesus one day in heaven as I will, as all of your other Christian family and friends, and to get as many people saved also so they will be in heaven with us, okay? And here is our craft today. I made me a ribbon a prize a medal or I guess it'd be like a ribbon um and I put I finished the race okay and I put yay I winner prize I did it these are encouragements that I did it I finished the race or I'm on the right direction I am heading in the right direction okay I might not be there yet but I'm heading in the right direction and um, if you guys, like I said, you can get construction paper and do this. This was real easy. I just made some of these ribbons and put on this. I have this foam thing. But you can use regular paper and you can color it, construction paper. Or you can make like an Olympic medal. You know when the Olympics, they get the winner, the gold, and the different medals with, that go around their neck. You can do that as well. I love you guys so much. And I can't wait to see you guys. Have a blessed day. Bye, guys.